briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2004, the United States Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit heard the case of Childress v. Darby Lumber, Inc., which centered around the company's violation of the Worker Adjustment and Retraining Notification, WARN, Act. This act mandates that companies must give employees at least 60 days' notice before a plant closing. The case emerged after Darby Lumber and Bob Russell Construction, Inc. failed to provide the required 60-day notice to their employees before closing their plant. As a result, the former employees lost their jobs and sued the companies for breach of the WARN Act. The district court ruled in favor of the former employees, finding that the two companies were considered a single employer under the act and ordering the defendants to pay damages to the plaintiffs. Additionally, the plaintiff's motion for attorney's fees was granted. The defendants appealed the district court's decision, arguing that the court had made errors in four specific areas. However, the appeals court concluded that there were no errors and affirmed the original ruling. The court supported the Lodestar method for calculating attorney's fees, resulting in the defendants being ordered to pay damages to the plaintiffs, as well as their attorney's fees. The defendants' appeal was unsuccessful, and their argument that they were the prevailing party was rejected. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.